Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a shopping haul. I haven't done it for a while, a few months now, and I've been really stressed out as well. And the best way to de-stress a shop, as you can see, I have a gnarly example right here, so telling me to go shopping. <laughs> but either case, um, today's shopping haul is going to be based on Aloe, Ulta, and two random products that I went to two different stores from but it's not really that important. My main focus and video content is basically Aloe and Ulta Beauty. This is my first time ever shopping at Aloe. I've never, never actually physically bought anything from Aloe in my life. Uh, I went to the store literally twice in my life before I actually purchased anything. Um, I think their clothes are so, so cute. Uh, I'm a big, big fan of Lululemon, but Lululemon's style is a little bit more mature, and I do like that, but sometimes I want a little bit more girly type. People usually compare Lululemon and Aloe all the time because they're kind of are the same concept when it comes to clothing. Basically, it's activewear, and Lululemon usually wins in that aspect when it comes to durability and sweat proof with their leggings and stuff like that, but Aloe is different in their own unique way. It's more of a luxurious uh, feel when you wear it. Most people like to wear it as a street wear as, a, as opposed to uh, active wear. And that's my main purpose of wearing aloe. I, I want to wear it on the beach. I want to wear it when I walk, out, walk around. And I just want to look good wearing it. I am just super excited that I finally got a few aloe pieces. And there are certain other items that I am looking forward to getting in the future and I actually uh, didn't see the one that I really want in store to like a smaller location that's why but I really wanted to get this crop uh, sweater thing. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna show you right here. It's like kind of like a crappie sweater with like the, the set of a crappie um, shorts. I think it's so cute. It's like a nice airport, like on the go lounge. Um, I don't know, it's super cute and chic and I really want that outfit, but I didn't see it there. So I was a little bit sad about it, but Duly noted, I still got a couple of items that I thought were nice and it's their items for this year, for the summertime, and I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, definitely, definitely starting my little mini aloe collection and I am obsessed. Words can't describe how much I love the color contrast and the detail of aloe's clothing. I will say... I did have a little bit of a weird shopping experience. First time going, I was really excited, so I didn't really... First time actually buying certain things, I was really excited, so I didn't really pay no mind to it. Stand online and about to pay, and once payment is done, they basically said, it's in your email. So I was like, oh, okay. Got back home, I never received an Allo email, and I was a little bit upset about that because for me, when I shop, I really need a receipt, like a tangible receipt. I really didn't like the fact that they didn't give me a, ch a choice whether I wanted a printed receipt or an email receipt. Usually, they give you a choice. When, when you're at the cashier, at the register, they would give you like a choice of pressing if you want a printed or a digital receipt. And I didn't get no choice. They, that chick literally said, oh, it's in your email. And then I, I thought it was kind of weird, but I didn't, so I guess, focus on that and I guess that negative aspect. Um, basically focus on something I didn't really enjoy, which was that little moment. Um, but honestly, later on when I do purchase more stuff from Aloe, I am literally putting my foot down and asking for a receipt. I don't know if that was the only Aloe uh, that, didn't get, that just does that because... Personally speaking, I, like I said, I need something tangible. If I purchase something, give me something in return. <laughs> like, don't give me like, oh, it's in, it's in the system. Like, that don't work for me. Like, literally do not work for me. You guys have like this type of issue too when it comes to Aloe's, um, I guess, services with the receipts. I, <laughs> I, like I said, I usually have a choice and this time I didn't and I was a little bit baffled Got when I got back home. I didn't 
like sometimes when you get too excited about something, you just don't remember or you just don't focus on the bad things at that moment. But when once you everything settles in, you just really like oh oh shit, I didn't, where's my receipt? Where is my damn receipt? And that, <laughs> duly noted, that's not the only thing that really um, concerning about Aloe to me because there is one item that I purchased from Aloe and the size is wrong and because I don't have the physical receipt um, it's just like sh how am I gonna return it you know how am I gonna exchange it or whatever and I'm not even sure if the size is wrong it's because the printing on the sizing is is weird and I'm about to show you right now so yeah I'm gonna do the shopping haul right now I just really wanted to get that out there that um, my first time actually purchased stuff in aloe was a little bit um, uneasy for me and hopefully the second time around um, I know exactly what I gotta watch out for what I gotta like say and if that person literally gonna say, tell me, oh, it's only in the system, I need a manager. That's, <laughs> I, there's no way I'm gonna let this happen again because like I said, I really, I have something that I might wanna exchange, but I'm not sure if I should yet. So, well, actually, I don't even know if I have a choice or if they're gonna let me because I don't have a email receipt. So yeah, I just wanna put that out there, letting you guys know and, um, let me know if any aloe stores does that or is it just that particular one too and over three hundred dollars and once you spend over three hundred dollars at aloe you get this cute little tote bag um which is great i mean i'm sure most people i'm sure most people spend over three hundred dollars because um aloe is not that cheap and you know what you get what you pay for their material and the I don't know, it just hugs your body right, so, okay, <laughs> but yeah, you get this cute little tote bag, it's a tie-dye aloe tote bag, it's one of their signature tote bag that I got for free because of spending $300, um, is actually, if you don't spend $300 and you want the tote bag just alone, you could literally pay for it, but it costs $48, yes, $48 for this tote bag, and I got it for free, so I'm a little bit happy about it and um i think if you're over a little over 200 you might as well buy a little bit extra i don't know socks or something and and get the tote bag i mean it is 48 dollars retails online uh i did double check on it i couldn't i i honestly couldn't believe it's 48 dollars. i would never pay 48 dollars for this tote bag um uh, give it for me for free please especially since you don't you guys don't give out bags anymore please shopping bags anymore might as well give me this tote for free this item that i'm gonna be talking about that i'm gonna show you that i got from aloe is this unisex half crew socks every day all day crop crew socks i love these i think they're so cute and the material is fabulous it's a really um breathable material and it's thick i like how thick it is this is definitely one of my favorites um uh, from aloe i i it's freaking socks but yeah it's 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 a nice pair of socks come on and it has like the cute uh aloe logo on it remember i recently just said that there's a size concerning for me like a size concern for me because okay so i am a size small when it comes to socks so that's fine but then over here says small and i don't know if you see this but i didn't i didn't even notice it uh closer up but if you could see that right here says medium. Medium. Is this like a small or a medium? That's my concern. Like I, I, like if it's medium, it would be a little bit too big for me. But I thought to myself, if this is a medium, I just, maybe I'll just give it to like a family member or something and just purchase another pair. Because I, I was scared that because it's medium, I'm gonna like not able to wear it and I'm it's just gonna be a waste of money. But if they don't let me return it, if I can't exchange it, and uh, when I open it and it's not um, a small, I'm just gonna give it because, I mean, this is retail for $16. Um, it's not that excessive for a pair of socks, but I just, I, I didn't like how confusing that was, if that makes sense. It's, it says small, small, and then the price tag says medium. I'm just gonna show you again. It says medium. M. It is just a pair of socks, but this, the, the little things do bother me. It's just, 
especially when you're buying something, I mean, it's easy to like take my money, but give me what I want, you know? <laughs> item that I'm gonna show you that I am obsessed with. Yes, obsessed. I think they're so cute. Oh, it makes me want another pair of these tennis skirts. I got these tennis skirts and by the way, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna insert a clip. Retails for $72. I don't know if you could see this, but yeah, this retails for 70 Here has a little description of what the skirt is. Singles, how about doubles? You'll want more than one of the Aces tennis skirts. A lightweight, wrapped style tennis skirt that is perfect for on the go. Afford repeating Elo's logo on the waistband and hidden pocket on the inner shorts and ultimate finishing touch. All right, I will want more. <laughs> But apparently there's pockets in here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> there is a pocket. Oh, this is so good. I love this. I love, love, love. Yeah, this is literally one of my favorites. That skirt is perfect. This two-piece set. It's a Terry outfit. And these are two pieces. I'm going to show you an insert of a clip of what it looks like. It's like um, $62. And then the bottoms... The bottoms is, well, it actually didn't say, but I remember it being like 68. So yeah, these two are just so cute. Like, I couldn't just get one. It has to be like a set. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, I need to match. And I don't know, this year for summertime, I'm really into orange. So yeah, I will be wearing a lot of oranges. I I know that for a fact. I, all I got from Aloe, oh, actually, I have a face watch, which I'm gonna show you the picture on here. I got from Aloe, it was like 30 something dollars. Um, it's just a regular face wash. I wanted to hit that, that mark to get the free tote bag, so I just threw in some like facial products in it. And what else? I also, now I'm gonna show you what I got at Ulta Beauty. Most of the stuff, I'm actually, it's not for me. This is actually for somebody. I'm For me, it's like, like a joy for me to like shop for people and buy, buy things for others because I know for a fact that it's a great feeling to receive a gift. I, I mean like I love, love presents. So I, when I shop, I go to so many different stores and I pick out so many different things. So when I went to Ulta Beauty, I, one of my favorite pe person is birthday is coming up so I thought like she is gonna definitely enjoy these items because she likes cute things. Like, this is not the only thing I'm giving her but it's gonna be one of those things I'm giving her. It's an essential and it's cute and I think she will love it. I don't know if you could see them. They're Korean brand. They're from the cream shop and they're just so cute. I don't know like so these are like Sony's um, Hello Kitty, My Melody. She loves like cute stuff like this and I know for a fact that she's gonna really, really enjoy these. Macarons, lip balms, and uh, over here says limited edition. I don't know if it's limited edition, it just says that. So I'm really excited for her to try these and if she's not gonna treat herself, I'm gonna treat her. <laughs> And this is a strawberry ice cream flavor, and this is the rainbow sh strawberry. <laughs> I like I said, I've never used these lip balms. Um, I just saw them, and I instantly reminded me of her, and I know she will like it. So I wanted to give these to her. I just can't wait to see her face. Balms as well. Uh, this is from Clears actually. It's not actually from uh, Ulta Beauty, but I just randomly, since I'm talking about lip balms right now anyways, I might as well show you guys. I thought these were kind of cute. It's a lip glaze. It's a type of lip balm. It's a glossy lip balm. So I think these are cute because you could use these and hang it on your keychain. And I think it's perfect for her too, besides the macaroons being like not easy to be on the go these are so easy to just grab and go so yeah now she has like literally five lip balms love her for that and so this purchase is for me and um please don't be mad uh it's a little bit ridiculous the amount when i saw the price i didn't notice the price because it, there was no price tag on it so i was like um this is the cutest thing i ever seen and it's a korean brand i like korean stuff sometimes like especially like Korean Japanese products like Shiseido, um, SK2, like those stuff are good for your skin. All this hand butter and I was like, I need this. So this is the mango hand butter. Tony Mole 
it's expecting this to smell and t like literally smell and taste like mangoes. Well, I'm not gonna eat it, but just imagining smelling like just great. And this shape, this bottle is a <coughs> mango. It's a it's mango. Oh my gosh, I love mango. I actually eat this product. If I tell you the price, you guys are gonna be so mad at me. This is twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. $20 for a hand cream. Um, I mean, it's not a Chanel hand cream. Chanel hand creams are like $55, $60. So I could kind of justify this $20 hand cream, right? This is really good because if this sucks and, it, and I spend $20 on this, it's going to really, really um, make me angry. <laughs> so yeah, I got this for myself. It's a hand cream. I'm really excited to use it. Um, hopefully it's good. I really hope it's good. Very promising. <laughs> Ariana Grande Rem. So I've been wanting to try this Ariana Grande Rem uh, perfume because I find it like very interesting and a lot of people rave about Ariana Grande's uh, perfumes and I like the packaging. It's like she's like a warrior princess type vibe. I don't understand Rem. I don't know what it stands for, but I'm excited to try this. I This is literally $24 um, at Ulta Beauty. So... Um, it's not that bad. I couldn't test it out in the store, so I decided to buy like this travel size. Um, $24 for this. I don't know what it looks like or inside of it. I just want to show you guys the beautiful packaging outside. Um, hopefully it's good. I heard a lot of good things about it. And Ulta Beauty, that holds a lot of uh, Aria Grande's uh like fragrances, makeups, and stuff. Makeup line recently just launched on Ulta Beauty, so if you want, just go check it out. That's all I got from Ulta Beauty. Besides this clear, all from Ulta. But not least, I went to CVS and bought these bug sprays. Yes, I needed bug spray. During summertime, I go hiking a lot, and bug spray is 100% my essentials. Um, and this brand is actually, I think it's a Costco brand. I've seen this in a Costco and I see the bulk size with the big um, plant sprayer thing it's in like like this type of big bottle but in a plant sprayer form and then attached to it with like a small bottles but apparently when you go to CVS or any type of drugstores they sell it like this small bottles so if you want to save a little bit more money go to Costco to buy like the bug sprays because literally the same brand greener way organic literally the same brand so yeah i mean these are only five dollars each but why not buy in bulk if you're gonna buy so many i mean i bought a lot i don't know why i didn't do that but you know a lot of things i question myself well, it was like over four hundred dollars um, everything including uh, taxes and fees definitely over $400 hopefully you like my shopping haul it's like very random this time it's not like a specific store I wanted to try something a little bit different I love shopping hauls I think they're fun I like watching shopping hauls I like doing shopping hauls and I like shopping that's basically it so I decided to do a random one that consists of every little knickknack things, even things I'm giving somebody. Uh, let me know if you enjoy it or not on the comments below. Hopefully you like my video, and if you do, please like, subscribe, and definitely share. Um, you know, sharing is caring. <laughs> and I hope um, you guys have a really lovely day. See you next time. Bye!